Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back. Another episode, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, of course. Hmm. Yeah. Let's just continue this game. I like playing this game. It's it's nice. Oh, foxes. I mean, what's the point of killing animals if you can't loot them? Or is it just the bears? And here we go. Another lunatic. Well, what you want? What is all this? My life. The fruit of my work. All gathered here. And now I lack the strength to throw it off this cliff. You carried everything up here only to throw it all down. The horse did most of it. It is the only way I can send my belongings into the next world. My children will not bury it with me. They say they do not want it, but I know they will sell it all once my light burns out. Will you lend me your strength? Throw everything over the cliff. The farther you throw, the better their chance of reaching the next world. Is that how it works? Okay. Sure. Why is everything packed in straw? I did not want anything to break. But you're throwing it off a cliff, my guy. Oh. What the hell? Is it supposed to land in the water or something? That contains a bow given to me by Hafton the Black after I put an arrow on the King Sigtude's left arm. That sounds like quite the shot. Whatever, bro. I'll just throw it all that back. Contains uh. a drinking horn I received from King Haftan for capturing his bride. Hmm. Come on. They really should just m put more background music into it. What a strange side quest, though. That contains a silver harpoon head I received from King Harold for pulling Haftan's frozen body out of the ice. We are a generous family. Splat. That's everything? Well, that's everything, my guy. You missed a few things. The gods will get the idea. Thank you for your help. You did not have to do this. Kind and courageous people live the best lives, but it can be a difficult path to keep. I have tried to live well. It is enough that the gods know that, even if the name Harek Gand is forgotten in Midgard. So, what will you do now that this task is done? Done? That was to announce my arrival. Now I leave this world. Enjoy your life. To Asgard! What? Wait! Thank you! Splat. Thor's hammer. That was a shot. Old man on the edge. Did I miss a few things? I didn't miss anything, right? Your horse, maybe? A restricted area. Well, let's try it. I have no arrows. Oh. Yikes. But okay. Um. Let's just try and take out this guy first. He's not looking. Is it a one shot kill? Probably. Good enough for me. Even headshot. Headshot, brother me. Ah, there's one. Yep. Stand still. Stand. St oh, there's two of them. 
Well, I guess assassination doesn't work anymore. Into the... Oh, there's no Hable. Well, there's another one. They really should have better attacks. Like when I'm sprinting, I want like a. Ah, oh, seriously. Loot. I know. I don't want to climb. Okay, what do you kids want? What is all this? Who bangs the drums of war? Look at you, a battle-hardened Vikinger. <laughs> Just what we need. Oh, and what do you need this battle-hardened warrior for? One day, we will be the greatest warriors beneath our banner. Skulls will write songs off the wolf pack, but we must first practice our raiding. <laughs> Going on a raid, then we shall raid. Three wolves and I will be the fourth to your lead. Wolf pack, onwards! Wolf pack! They ran. Four warriors, like four limbs of one clawing body. Each limb built to kill. This Strange, really. They don't tell you what to do or whatever the objective. They just like stop the raid. I'm just like, what? The, what do you mean? Okay, so from there, I'm supposed to come over here. I'm supposed to do something. But then what? We go inside, and what then? Well then, tell me anything, something, nothing. I guess this one, this last one, I haven't really done anything. Yet. The wolf pack stands in the wreckage of the enemy village. Nothing remains. Oh, the... to be taken and flaming carnage. Come and kneel before your right leader, big wolf. Cut. That was uh, stupid. <laughs> A successful raid. Yes. With your help, we slaughtered the Raven Clan for good. The Raven Clan, you say? Yes. Just like Chotve Yal's stories. One day I'll be just like him. Battleborn. These children want to kill my clan. Okay, what's this? What you want? Does everyone in Alrechstadier play their love game so loudly? No, it's just my husband. He cannot satisfy his wife! Ah, old age. No, he's still young and fit. It was not always so. He could not keep us apart when we were raiding. He would plow you during raids. Our first time was in the middle of a burning village. Now, after a while, the crew made us stop. They said it was distracting. Love can burn brighter near death. Have you tried revisiting these memories? Yeah, but talking about it is not the same. I need to feel it. Smell it. So you need to bring the excitement of the raid into your bed. You could help us pretend we are raiding. That will make my water flow. Come, we must tell my husband. What? I was only a... Uh, well, all right. What? No, we no, mate. A new big what the hell is this? Dinner. Today we raid. A raid? No. Join me in the blood dance. Fill me with your battle lust. What do you Join see? In the blood dance. Dance, fill me with your battle lust. Oh, yes, yes. What the hell? Let us go, Viking. Maybe you could start by breaking things. 
and scream as you do, like it is really happening. Fine. It is uh, amusing, but not arousing. It does not feel real enough. Oh, let me plunder your chest then. Find a key. Maybe you need more fire, like your first time. Yes. Burn down our house. Burn it to the ground. No key. Ah, oh, maybe that's it. Nope. Nope. Come on. Damn, these people are something. Oh, what the hell? Don't waste my time with this shit. What kind of things do they <clears throat> put in the game? Oh, here we go. You have just won your heart's desire, Eivor. Yet, by the look on your face, you've lost your will to live. Gorum is here with the last of his men. Why does that troll dare to show his face? Leave it for another day. We are here under Harald's truce. And Gorm is too weak to try anything bold. He's a seed stain on his father's trousers. I should wipe him from this world. Not tonight, Eivor. Leave it. Basim, watch over this one, and see that she warms herself with drink. I will find my father, and escort him to the longhouse. As you wish. Is Hytham well? He will heal, but never fully recover. It is fortunate that you were able to succeed where he failed. My resolve was strong. When you slew Kyotve, did you see a sigil on him? Silver, the size of my palm, bearing the symbol of an ash tree? Take it. Trade it for what you can. I know where Gorm is camped. If you wish to see him without anyone the wiser, there is a trick I can teach you. Already looking for another princess. All right, I'll bite. What do I do? Use your cloak to obscure your face. Blend into the crowd. Divert attention. Hide in plain sight. Is this, Is how, this how your brotherhood works? operates? You sneak around in the daylight, stabbing your victims where they stand. Said like that, you make me blush. We are seekers of justice. Shepherds of man's will. We work in the dark to serve the light. I suppose there's no shame in using deception when honor is at stake. And Gorum is a stain on that honor. Then let's see what can be done to cleanse that stain. Give it a try. This is all still part of the introduction to this game? Wow. A few things you should know before you step into his camp. Walking unseen through hostile territory is an exercise in subtlety. Okay. Okay, okay. I'll just try it. So the following. Dismissed at a distance. Remain far from watchful eyes and you will be invisible to them. Do not draw blade or hammer for these and other sudden movements can break your disguise. I get it. I mean, they should really polish up their game. To put up your hood for the trick to work. I make the mechanics more fluent and better instead of just making it a big game.
Okay. Oh. Why are they saying I have some roasted lamb on the spit. Are you coming? Man. Evil. You are her shit. Take up your weapon and follow me beyond these walls. Let Odin's favor land where it may. You dare not break the king's peace here. So fuck you and your god talk. What say you to that? <laughs> you can beat me, but you will not kill me. Not under Harold's truce. You are all subject to King Harald's truce. Break his peace and you will be cast out of Alrikstad. I will give you no trouble. You are shed into this world without honor, Gorm, and you will leave as a turd dumped into hell's deepest ditch. Keep crowing, Eivor. You only make yourself an easier target. Bring your whole entire army then. I should find Sigurd. I can't even kill him. Here we go. It pains me to say. He does. Thank you. His day will come. Oh, gods. I hate long speeches. Only when you're not giving them. Many of you knew my father, Halfdan the Black. A great man who achieved great things. They buried Halfdan's leg near our temple. The crops have never grown taller. They buried his arse near ours. And we get nothing but a muddy river! I dream of something greater. A vast kingdom of warriors in numbers the world has never seen. United under one king, one rule. Too much blood has been spilled fighting one another. Today, we unify. And turn our blades outward to conquer new lands. And who better to lead us to glory than me? I was blotted before the age of ten and I led the greatest army Norway has ever seen. But they say a wise king seeks honest counsel, so I ask, who among you rejects this new arrangement? I am not your enemy, King Harald, but I will not be your subject. Tomorrow we sail for greener shores, and so my kingdom is yours. This saddens me, noble Hjor. And does your wife agree? Is she not tired of limping ever westward? My husband and I are as one in this lord. We do not limp together. We fly. I'm sad to lose a woman of your spirit, Ljuvina. But I hold no grudge. May the fates grant you good luck. My king! I offer you my axe and my oath, ironclad. Gorm Kjotveson, you dare show your face in this hall. Did not King Styrbjorn and his son Sigurd rid our lands of your foulness? The Raven Clan dishonored me, great king. They poisoned my father, Kjortve. They made a mockery of his honorable death. Back out! You lie! Hold, Eivor. Let it play out. This is a serious charge, Gorm, and a false one at that. My uncle saw your father die. Eivor Wolfkist, you are Kjortve's slayer. This man has slandered your clan. What shall I do with him? Death. You decide. You are king of these lands, Harald. The decision must be yours. If it's not death, then I don't answer. want it. None of it. Gorm, I name you Worm and call you exiled. Leave these lands by the next full moon, or I will feed you to the crows myself. Yes, he's a pussy. King Harald, may I speak? The floor is yours, King Stebjorn. My people have held our land since the days when Odin himself walked among us. My kingdom is humble, but we have paid for it in blood. Our victory over Kjotve is proof that we will not lay down without a fight. 
All here have buried friends, brothers and sisters, sons and daughters. And I, for one, have had my fill of death. Let those who seek war look beyond our shores. If King Harold brings peace, then I am happy to bend my knee to him. What? What in hell's name are you doing, father? Securing a lasting peace, Sigurd. Our days of fighting are finished. Our. Never yours, bro. You said nothing of this to me. Not a word. And I will not yield a title that should be mine by right. Then war will continue. Men will die. Villages will burn, you foolish boy. This is our only way towards true peace. You will die a thrall. You'll drink adult cow. Alone and toothless in a bed of straw. Forgive my son. He is ruled by his emotions. I take no offense, dear Bjornjarl. And I thank you for your fealty. It is natural to fear change, to resist it. But all things change and all things end. The lessons of Ragnarok are clear. We will speak again soon. That was an ambush, Lord. Did you know of Stebion's plans? For some days, yes, I did. But it was not in my urging. It was his decision alone. Do you dream of a glorious future, Eivor? A warrior like you would be a boon to my clan. Hmm. So, uh, is this for him? This Sigurd and I don't know my fate? Oh, I don't know my fate. All I know of fate is that its pattern is unknowable. I do not worry beyond that fact. I wish I understood you better. For those I do not understand, I do not trust, and I cannot stomach a lack of trust. You have nothing to fear from me, King Harald. My loyalty lies with my brother Sigurd, and I bear you no ill will. Then know that if you stay in Norway, both you and your brother must serve under me. Take tomorrow to think on this. But let us leave these matters for another time. Tonight we will eat and drink like gods and wake in a kingdom made new. Did I make the right decision, I wonder? Well, peace is always nice, but there's no peace when there are so many bad people. You must take action, you must kill these people. Banishing them will do nothing good for you. Literally nothing. They will come back and they will claim your head. You should just kill them. Just be over with it. Man, this game is stupid. Men, keep your voice down. We'll alert Harald's men. Where will we live? The English will fight back. The wars will never end. Two days ago, we rid this land of Kjotve and his dogs. Yet today, we do not celebrate. Today, we cower under a cloud of fear. But it need not be like this. We are not the heel-trodden subjects of a boy king. We are the Raven Clan. Our destiny is our own. Did you know about your father's oath to Harold? I did not. And for that, my anger burns hotter than any man's here. But I will not let that drive me into despair. We cannot stay in Norway. Not under Harold's boot. Not without fueling more war. So we push forward, to newer lands. Okay. To and there make a new home, a kingdom of our own. The sons of Ragnar Lothbrok have been in England eight winters already. Is there any land left for a clan of our size? More than enough, wife. Of the four kingdoms of England, only one is truly pacified. I have no desire to wear Harald's leash. I like this idea. A saga for the ages, I agree. It will take time and resources to build ourselves a new home, but the riches taken from Kjotve's raid would suffice. No, 
That belongs to my father, as a fair compensation. In England, we must start anew. You would start us with nothing? In a land we do not know? Among people who hate us? Cut this riches would go some way to easing our passage, Sigurd. I bested him. It is within my rights to claim his goods. Our leaving must not be an assault on my father. It is a time of renewal for us. Hmm. Sure, whatever you want, bro. If you object, I understand. Let your father keep Chadvis riches. England will have riches and cargo enough for us. Good. I did not want this cloud hanging over us. It is a wise leader who considers the need of others. To England, then, before the day is out. Pack what you need, but no more than that. And tighten your lips. The last thing we need is the attention of Harald's troops. How much did you hear? Enough. A new path is revealed, and your journey will be challenging. Will you not join us? For my mother's sake, I cannot. But our threats will cross again before the final day. Until then, farewell. Okay, uh... Cool. Brother main, brother main. Eivor, the wind favors us. We should set sail without delay. You made quick work of packing. Well done. The dream of new lands is a powerful lure, as is the promise of glory. But the act of leaving so beloved a home, there is a sadness to it. Having doubts? No, not at all. The die is cast. Then let fate guide our journey. Are you ready? Uh, yeah, I have nothing better to do. Let us take to the water and leave unbothered while we have the chance. That chance has passed. Look. Fate flies on swifter wings than we. King Harold's banner. We can just leave. Right? What's he gonna do? Sigurd? What is this assembly? What are you planning? An exit, father. As graceful as I can. For if I cannot be king in the land of my birth, I will start a new saga in England. Nonsense. Your place is here, son, at my side. There will be other victories soon. Other glories. Other victories? Glories? Do not hope oh, otherwise. Steer Bjorn Jarl. Our men were killed as we patrolled nearby. And the word is... Eivor swung the axe. If the dead could speak, what would they say of their deaths, Wolf Kist? They would tell you how they offered us insults, and how I slew them for it. As the dead cannot defend themselves, a fair gelt is wanted. Fifty weight of silver for each life. By law. Fifty weight? You will have it from me. A parent must pay the price of his children's folly. That was generous, Lord. Why England? Why throw away all you have for such an uncertain future? Here you could be a king's hero, Eivor. Your name known all across Harold's many kingdoms. No, I'll not be captive to another man's gaudy design. My destiny is my own to weave. Eivor speaks for both of us, father. You gambled your honor and you lost your family. I hope the trade was worth it. Anger and sadness wrestle for my heart, but I am glad you'll leave this place alive. Did she kill two men? I didn't kill no one. That's about everything. Okay, so... Huh. What? Oh, that way. This way. The time for tears is over, you weeping sacks of wool! 
Put some muscle into those pools! Ration your strength, dog. We have an ocean to cross. All right, you lazy back route. Sigurd, what's our course? The sons of Ragnar is hey, hey. settlement near the coast. We set sail for that. Draghi, sing a song to lift our hoogle. To rouse the gods! Inspire a mighty fart from Thor to speed us on our way! An ocean lies before us, Eivor. And on its far side... Are they gonna make me... Really... I spent the season in their kingdom of Mercia. I really go all the way there, no fast travel, no nothing. By now the sons of Ragnar will have claimed its heart. Well, I guess for you guys it will just go by in a second. In time, all of England will know of Raven Clan and the glory we brought to that fractured land. So to England! Glory and destiny! To England! To England! It was literally four hours or something, four hour gameplay for the intro. Jeez.